Technology has finally caught up to the future. Now, some of the most innovative vehicle designs many hoped to see almost a century ago are in development. I'm Glenn, and here are some personal transportation projects that are in the 2020 pipeline. For anyone who enjoys traversing extreme terrains where roads are optional, the Light Trax Mud Trax MTXC is the vehicle. It's a machine that provides a comfortable ride at any time of the year. Individuals or groups can take it through snow, swamp, marshes, and over almost any obstacles. The Mud Trax has full suspension, so there's less impact on the ground, better traction, and less stress on the machine. It's on a stable platform with no tires to go flat or even come off because of the strain, making it great for rugged trails. MTXC is a base model that can be equipped for commercial or recreational purposes, including search and rescue, firefighting, or crossing wetlands. Being able to fully explore the terrain is one of the reasons why the Nikola NZT exists. It's an electric utility terrain vehicle that goes from 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds across almost all types of terrain. This UTV is particularly impressive because it has an electric motor on each of its four wheels. Combined with its low center of gravity, this means drivers have more control, faster cornering, and lower risk of rollover. It's even got its own pin-protected control panel, as well as front and rear cameras. The battery is waterproof, allowing the NZT to operate just fine for 30 minutes of water up to 1 meter deep. It can go 150 miles on a full charge, which takes about 15 minutes with the J1772 charger, or just 2 hours with the DC fast charger. This is one of the most innovative vehicle designs 2020 has seen because it demonstrates that just because you're off-road doesn't mean you need to be out of touch. Looking like a flying saucer as it cuts through the lake, the Surcraft Aquatic Flying Circle uses body weight as a rudder. It's an exhilarating water ride designed to carry one or two people for a leisurely lake ride or for intense water sports like skiing or boarding. It reaches up to 40 miles an hour and makes a great jet ski substitute. To make it your own, get the chassis custom finished with any design or color. Americans lose nearly 100 hours a year sitting in congested traffic. In cities like Boston, Chicago, and Philadelphia, the three most congested cities in 2019, the cost to drivers is about $88 billion. How many have fantasized about lifting themselves above the never-ending line and just flying to work in minutes? Japanese-based, Toyota-funded SkyDrive has, and they've come up with a compact air mobility craft that does just that. The SD Series crafts are manned electric planes that provide reduced travel time and door-to-door -door mobility. They're capable of vertical takeoff and landing with two sets of coaxial multi-rotors at the front and rear, along with a small cabin that holds up to two people. It claims about 12 to 20 miles per charge, with a max load of about 1,100 pounds traveling at a little under 40 miles per hour. While this is impressive, some experts suspect SkyDrive could be finding ways to develop hydrogen multi-rotors. This would give it a considerable advantage with refueling and extending its range. As of the first quarter of 2020, the team is merely integrating more technical feedback into the next phase of prototyping. Under the sea is a place of wonder and excitement, and if there was a way to safely explore its depths, many people would probably jump at the chance. Enter the Triton Deep View 24-seat passenger submersible. It is a modular vehicle that accommodates up to six passengers per section, plus pilot and co-pilot. 
It has two batteries plus an extra one for emergencies and has a maximum depth of 330 feet. The thick acrylic windows give passengers a panoramic view of the world around them, while the submarine travels at just three knots. During nighttime jaunts, the unit is equipped with external LED lights that effectively cut through the blackness. For those who want a more personal experience, Triton also has smaller, more configurable units, such as the Solo Sub, that goes down more than 3,200 feet. Just launched by Gordon Murray Automotive, the T50 supercar is more powerful, lighter, and faster. Even with its 3.9-liter, 654-horsepower V12 engine, with only 100 of these supercars being made, it is the highest revving production car engine of all time at 12,100 RPM. Weighing 2,160 pounds, it has three seats configured jet fighter style with the driver in the center front and more luggage area than you'd expect. The carbon fiber monocoque chassis includes an F1 style passenger safety cell and the carbon bodywork comes with gullwing doors. The luggage areas and engine bay can also be reached through their own set of gull wings. There are no touchscreens, but the mirrors are digital, and there's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to manage navigation and control the 10-speaker 700-watt R-Cam stereo. One of the UAM technology leaders is Jaunt, and they have a patented reduced rotor operating speed aircraft called Rosa. It's a gyrodyne, meaning it's a helicopter gyroplane hybrid capable of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter. However, it also gets some thrust from traditional propellers, which help it cruise. It is much quieter than conventional aircraft, making it acceptable for flying in residential areas. Because it's all electric, there are no combustible liquids that lead to fire or emissions that harm the environment. Rosa handles one pilot and four passengers and flies reliably through rough weather. If there is a complete power failure during flight, the pilot can still land safely. It's already governed by industry certification rules, yet anyone who wants to get behind the controls has to wait until 2023. Nostalgia meets function in the special edition Arsenal EV1000 from Catalis. This electric bike harkens back to the World War II bike's days and may remind some of the Royal Enfield's Flying Flea. Its geometric design makes it look compact and ready to fly. The retro handlebar has an electronic dashboard that takes measurements in real time. At full charge, the 48-volt battery has a max speed of about 50 miles per hour, for up to 55 miles. The chassis, made from special aluminum with a black matte finish with orange stripes, matches the French Automotive Gallery's colors for which it was commissioned. Located in Hinckley, Leicestershire, Triumph Motorcycles is the largest UK-owned manufacturer of some of the world's best-loved motorcycles. Those familiar with the company may remember the Trident, which came out back in the late 60s and early 70s. This time, they've come up with an innovative prototype design for 2020, boasting a triple-cylinder engine that accentuates balance and adds more power. Even though it probably comes in at 675 CCS, this bike is definitely for more seasoned riders who appreciate power and a dynamic ride. Now, the company is remaining tight-lipped, sharing only the prototype styling, but their team promises sleek design, ergonomics, comfort, and modern technology in this redesigned middleweight roadster.
Many countries are focused on bouncing from one location to another in the most efficient ways possible. And China is no different. They're looking into the urban air taxi and tourism services. And for that, there's the Ehong 216 Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, EVTOL. This autonomous aerial vehicle takes up to two passengers on a quick 21-minute flight at a maximum altitude of almost 2,000 feet. It has 16 propellers with corresponding motors surrounding the base and is equipped with its own operating systems for manned flights across the city in any weather situation. It quickly lands on specially designated e-ports, which can be located on land or water. While the Ehong 216 is a two-seater, the 116 model is for anyone who feels like flying solo. These are just some of the innovative vehicles 2020 has to share. So tell us, which ones are on your wish list? <laughs>